and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. And I like to research the ingredients in makeup products and report back my findings to you. And today we are gonna be talking about the Jaclyn Cosmetic Lipsticks. Jaclyn Hill just launched her lipsticks and I only managed to get hold of one. I had three in my cart, but when I was trying to put on my payment info, the other one sold out. So we are gonna talk about a few things about this. We're gonna talk about why this lipstick is even melting. We're gonna talk about what I think the little beads are that are forming on top of the melted lipsticks. We're gonna talk about if there's any benefit to the collagen in her lipstick. And finally, we will get to my opinions of the product itself. So let us get into all of those nerdy details. Let's address the melting. Obviously it's June now, a lot of places are hot, including where Jaclyn Hill is from in Florida where it gets extremely hot. So some people are showing that their lipsticks are melted and there's like little beads of something forming on top of these lipsticks. So my best guess is that there's not enough waxy ingredients in this product to keep it together. And she did want this product to be really creamy and it is, it feels great but there is a fine line between creamy and it falling apart. Pretty much all the ingredients are not solid or they're like a liquidy solid until you get up to the fifth ingredient which is pretty much mango butter. But mango butter will melt at 86 degrees Fahrenheit and we know throughout the US a lot of places are reaching above 90, even 100 and those trucks can get even hotter. And since this is so high up, I think this is what is causing the melting. Putting mango butter, it melts easily and it applies smoothly on the lips because obviously it's gonna heat up when you apply it to your lips, which is great. But the problem is since this is the first pretty much solid ingredient in this formula, it is, it's making this lipstick very, very fragile. For comparison, the next ingredient, the sixth ingredient, candelilla wax, has a melting point of 155 degrees Fahrenheit. So a lot higher, significantly higher. And to me, the feel of this formula feels very similar to the MAC Satin Lipstick. They have a lot of similar ingredients. And in that formula, the Candelilla Wax is actually the fourth ingredient. Now we don't know the exact concentrations of these. It seems like that formula has a lot more wax in it and it's holding together a lot better. It's not as creamy, but it is still creamy, but it is gonna be more durable in terms of being exposed to heat. So what are those little grainy little spheres that are forming on top of these lipsticks? I believe that it's actually the mango butter. So this is a very common issue with shea butter, which is also in this formula, mango butter, and other vegetable butters. This is because these products were heated up and they were not cooled rapidly. If they're melting inside of a truck, and they come back down to room temperature, it's a very slow process. It's not like these things are being cooled down immediately. They are crystallizing into these little grains. And that could explain the sharpness too, why people feel like they're sharp. When things are cooled down quickly, it retains its composition, they don't separate out. So that is probably what is forming on top of these lipsticks because it got cooled down too slowly. The recommended solution to this is if you have shea butter or mango butter is to heat it up and melt it again and cool it down quickly, like put it in the freezer for an hour. So I can't tell you for sure. So if you do get a lipstick on a hot day and it still looks okay, I would probably throw it back. I would probably throw it in the freezer for just a little bit just to get it back rapidly or you might start to see those little beads form on top again. Hopefully if you haven't received it yet and you're in a hot area, maybe that can save you. But I think that is what those beads are. So that kind of brings me to another issue with this whole melting thing is in Jaclyn Hill's launch video, she did mention that they did long-term testing to test the consistency to test the fragrance and the smell over time, as well as if the product melted. This kind of long-term testing is called stability testing. You'll basically stick the product into like a like refrigerator or like a room that is temperature controlled and or humidity controlled. And at various time intervals, you will pull out a sample and test it. And this helps cosmetic companies figure out how long a product can last or what conditions it can be at. If you stick it in a really cold environment, is it gonna separate? For instance, that wouldn't really happen with the lipstick, but if it's too hot of an environment, does 
do you know, does it melt? So it's kind of bad that she said that they tested if it melted. So I don't know what their maximum temperature was for testing, but I would hope they would at least test it at 100 degrees to see what would happen because a lot of places in the US will hit 100 degrees. So one thing that they probably could have done that might have been a good idea is to ship it out and then ship it back to themselves during a hot spell just to see if on a truck if it's gonna you know something's gonna happen to the lipsticks i don't know if they did that 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 probably would have been a good idea i've seen it done before and if they did do this kind of long-term testing they should have known if it was gonna melt and if they thought there was a potential it was gonna melt on the packaging they should have put storage conditions it doesn't say anything about how to store it or on the outside packaging as well, like don't expose to heat, kind of like what they do with like hairsprays. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but if you get like a package that has like hairspray and it'll be like, don't expose to heat. And that's for flammable reasons. But if you know that something's gonna melt, it's better to put something like that because now they're gonna have to replace all these people's lipsticks, which just, that's, that's just a whole waste of money for the company. So I think the way that she casually speaks about this behind the scenes stuff is to her detriment for the most part because everything she says is gonna be analyzed. If anything goes wrong in her formula, we're gonna go back to what she said. And for Jaclyn Hill to say that her lipsticks were tested to see if they melt, but people are getting melted lipstick. And I don't know if this is just what someone had told her over the phone, if she was there and saw what they were doing. I'm not sure if how involved it was in terms of the quality testing that was going on. I think she probably should have left it as, I worked hard on this product, I stand behind this product, and just left it at that. Because then if something does go wrong, she can go behind the scenes and be like, I thought we did this, but now she's told her whole audience this was done. So that's just my opinion. But let's move on to some of, let's move on to one of the ingredients that she mentioned as being a exciting ingredient in her product. So she mentioned collagen. Now. All these products contain collagen because people have this belief that if you apply collagen directly, it's going to stimulate collagen growth and help you look youthful. One of the ingredients they have is collagen amino acids in this formula. Now, it's very, very low on the list, but also topically applied collagen is too large to be absorbed, even if it's broken down into these little amino acids. Basically, these are like the building blocks of the collagen they probably aren't gonna penetrate. They're not gonna really stimulate collagen production. That's just that's just a marketing thing a lot of companies do. There's not really any evidence to show that. They might be hydrating, but it's so low anyway, I wouldn't think that this has much hydration potential in comparison to the other ingredients because it's so low on the list. It's amongst all of the preservatives in this formula. And people were concerned that this may not be vegan collagen, but there is collagen. One source could be algae, which is vegan. So I do believe that this formula is actually vegan. Let me tell you what I think of this formula. I think this is a very creamy formula and I really enjoy this formula. I wore it all day. It is not long wearing whatsoever. It is going to wear off but it is a very, very comfortable formula and also it's good because it stays in place. I didn't have a whole lot of smearing when I was eating, which is usually a huge issue with a lot of cream formulas. It's very pigmented, it only took a swipe or two. I didn't really put on a lot of lipstick because it could feel heavy if you did apply too much, so that's something to take note of. I compare it a lot to the Amuse Boost lipstick and the MAC Satin Lipstick, which I mentioned earlier, which are two lipsticks I really enjoy. So if you're someone looking for a creamy lipstick, you are gonna like this. If you're looking for something transfer proof, this is not gonna be it for you. And if you're looking for something super shiny, this is also not gonna be it for you. This is a very satin formula. So this product shares its first ingredient with the MAC Satin Lipstick I mentioned and the Bite Beauty Lipstick I mentioned, and that is castor oil. This is a very, very common ingredient in a lot of lipsticks. So this is what's gonna help make this creamy and is gonna give a soft feeling. And the next ingredient in this product is caprylic capric triglyceride, and this is also an emollient. This one happens to be derived from coconut oil and glycerin. We've talked about glycerin in the past a lot. I will leave a video up here if you wanna get more info on glycerin. This is a good emollient that helps reduce moisture loss, which is great because that's what you want out of a creamy lipstick. You don't want crusty lips, you know? And an emollient is something that has the ability to soften the skin. 
and that is something that's going to be very pleasant for the user of the lipstick. And polybutane is the next ingredient. Now this is kind of like an in-between a solid and a liquid. It's kind of waxy, pasty, that kind of a texture. And this is what's going to help the lipstick adhere to the lips. If you just had oil, it's going to smear off, but this is what's going to make it actually stick on the lips so it doesn't get everywhere. Overall, I think this is a really good lipstick. I think other than the melting issue, I think that this is a good quality lipstick. I really enjoy it and obviously I feel like it's similar to two other high-end lipsticks. So I think they did a good job in that regard, but they may have to tweak the formula a little bit to prevent this melting in the future. It is very creamy, it's very comfortable, and I like the finish of it. It's not long wearing, but I wouldn't have expected this kind of lipstick to be long wearing. It doesn't require a lot of swipes to apply. So I will definitely be picking up the two other colors that I wanted once there is a restock. And I would love to hear your opinion down below. If you did order these, please let me know if you had issues with the shipping. I personally, with the shipping, I got the regular shipping and I got it before a lot of people who got expedited shipping. If you have received your lipstick, did it arrive in good condition? Mine was perfectly fine when I got it yesterday evening, but also it's been a very mild June for us so far in Southern California, so that could be why. And you know, if you didn't get it, just like let me know. So as always, I will leave some resource links down below as well as product links for all the products I mentioned in this video. And if you learned something today, don't forget to click the like button so I know to make more videos like this and click the subscribe button so you'll never miss a new upload. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!